In this video, we're going to talk about how to write the net ionic equation of the reaction between sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. So the first thing we need to do is we need to be able to write the chemical formulas of these two substances. So what is the chemical formula for sodium hydroxide? Sodium is an alkali metal with a plus one charge when it becomes an ion. Hydroxide is a polyatomic ion, which is OH minus. Notice that these two, they have the same magnitude of charge, even though it's opposite in sign. So in order to write the chemical formula of these two ions when they get together, it's going to be in a one to one ratio. So you can simply write it as NaOH. Now the chemical formula for hydrochloric acid, this one you could commit to memory, it's HCl. Now we need to predict the products of this reaction. This is a double replacement reaction and Na is going to pair up with Cl. They have a one-to-one -one charge so we can simply write it as NaCl. And sodium chloride is soluble in water. So based on the solubility rules we know it's going to be in the aqueous phase. Next we need to pair up hydrogen with hydroxide. When H plus and OH minus get together, they will form water, which will be in a liquid state. Now this reaction also has a special name. Not only is it a double replacement reaction, but it's also an acid-base neutralization reaction. Sodium hydroxide is a strong base. Hydrochloric acid is a strong acid. These two, they neutralize each other, creating a pH of approximately 7. So it's important to be familiar what type of reaction we're dealing with here. And this reaction is already balanced, so we don't have to do any additional work here. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now, before we can write the net ionic equation, we need to do something first. And that is, we need to write the total ionic equation. And here's how we're going to do that. Everything that is in the aqueous phase, that is soluble in water, we're going to break up into ions. Anything that is not in the aqueous phase, we're going to leave it the way it is. So sodium hydroxide is in the aqueous phase. We can break that up into Na plus and OH minus. HCl is also in the aqueous phase. So we can write that as H plus and Cl minus. By the way, you could put aqueous for all of these ions. Now for NaCl on the right, we can write that as Na plus and Cl minus. Now water is not in the aqueous phase. It's in the liquid phase, so we're just going to leave it the way it is. So that is the total ionic equation in this example. And just don't forget to write aqueous for all the ions. Now, what do we do at this point? What is our next step here? Before we can write the net ionic equation, we need to identify what is known as the spectator ions. Now, you might be wondering, what are spectator ions? Well, as the name implies, they spectate. They're spectators. They watch the reaction, but they don't participate in the reaction. And what we need to do here is we need to eliminate the spectator ions. And to identify them, they will appear exactly the same on both sides of the chemical reaction. So what ions appear exactly the same on both sides? We can see that Na plus look exactly the same and Cl minus. So those are the spectator ions in this reaction. They don't do anything in this reaction. They just simply hang out in the solution. Now what's left over, these are the ions that participate in a the reaction. They're not spectators, they're participators. So when hydrogen and hydroxide get together, they will neutralize themselves, creating water. And so this is the net ionic equation of this strong acid-base neutralization reaction. H plus reacts with OH minus to generate H2O. And so that's basically it for this video. 
So now you know how to write the net ionic equation of the reaction between aqueous sodium hydroxide and aqueous hydrochloric acid. So remember the steps first, write the balanced molecular equation. Next, write the total ionic equation by converting everything in the aqueous phase into ions. Step three is to eliminate the spectated ions. And step four is to write what you have after the spectated ions are eliminated. At that point, you'll have the net ionic equation.